coming up in the next version of Camera Bag, which will be 2020.3, um, we've uh, worked on another feature that a lot of people ask for. This has to do with, um, uh, well, I'll start showing it with Vignette. So uh, this is Vignette as you've used it before. And we've, uh, in the past, um, existing versions of Camera Bag, we've just made it accurate to what actual lens Vignette would be. Um, which is just around the edges, then you can adjust the radius, but uh, it wasn't movable. And so you'll see now there's this blue circle in the center, and I can actually move the vignette center so that if I want to highlight different areas of this photo, then it's easy to do that. And so it's technically less realistic, but uh, can be handy for a lot of things, even if you want to just move it slightly off center. Um, and then we've also, since it uh, uses such similar controls with the circular blur, we have a similar thing. Um, so let me just um, decrease the radius of this just to make the circular blur a little bit more apparent. Um, so yeah, now I can move the center of this to whatever. So if I wanted to like highlight the lower part of this waterfall, then I would just drag it down there. And if I wanted to highlight the upper part, then I'd drag it up there or wherever you want. And um, so those can be very handy now that they are movable to do lots of interesting things. Um, but with that same code, um, basically, we've been able to add a new mask that's also very handy, uh, which you can see right here, this new spot mask. So with a mask, when I just click on the mask, you won't see anything because it's going to affect whatever tile I place next to it. So say I choose like um, exposure. And then if I turn the exposure up, you can see it's only doing it in this center part defined by this spot mask. And I can increase the radius or decrease the radius or the fall off or whatever. Um, and then I click on this tile and whatever it is, it works with it works with any tile. So I'm using it with exposure. You could use it with, you know, temperature if you wanted to, to make it warmer or cooler, whatever. Uh, but let me go back to exposure. This can be really cool. It, it really is like relighting a photo. Um, because our exposure algorithm is quite natural, it's based on um, modeling actually what happens when you increase or decrease um, the exposure on, on a physical camera. Uh, it's, it really looks like you're moving a light around, uh, whether that be on a portrait or like on these cliffs or whatever. And you can, uh, you can also move a shadow around. So if I decrease the exposure, then it's just um, very naturally decreasing the light wherever I drag this to. And you can have multiple of these. So with any tile in camera bag of the uh, standard tiles, you can have as many copies as you want. So if I wanted two shadows that I can move around, then I'd pull this one over here after copying and pasting. And then I can really um, emphasize the light on the waterfall by uh, adding these shadows over here and I can toggle that on and off and you can see what happens. Like I say, I can turn it up or turn it down or whatever. And uh, it's neat to be able to use that with, with any of these adjustments. Um, and you can do some really cool uh, artistic things. If, if you enjoy that sort of um, more um, location spot focused uh, adjustments, uh, which we haven't had before, and this is a precursor to, you know, in the future, we hope to do brush tools where you can really um, define areas for adjustments. But uh, as a first step, these, these spots that you can move around are super handy, and I think that you'll enjoy them a lot.